Hello Internet. In this video, I'll show you how do you integrate PayPal as a checkout option in your e-commerce website or in any of the website that you have built. So basically, PayPal provides a way to accept payments in your business in your bank account. Um, basically, your user will be presented with the checkout buttons, uh, which says pay with PayPal, pay with cards, or different options, and user chooses to pay, and then PayPal handles these. Uh, process of creating the transactions and uh, basically getting the money into your bank account so I'll be focusing on the code aspects in this video uh, so if you have a PayPal account just log into developer.paypal.com portal and I'll show you how it looks like once you uh, I hit developer.paypal.com it will be presented with a list of products that the PayPal offers for business users, for marketplaces and platforms, for large enterprise users, uh, you'll see various options here. You can go through this document and understand the fee structure and understand different tools that it provides. For now, I'll focus on the checkout integration aspects. And now, if I hit developer.paypal.com slash developer accounts, by default, you will have uh, two accounts created for you. I'll for the sake of things, let me delete these two accounts. I had already created uh, several accounts. Cool. So uh, these are my sandbox accounts. Uh, by default, you'll have one personal uh, account and one business account. You can create as many accounts as you want. Now I'll create one business account. I'll choose account type as business country I'll select as India I'll click on create a sandbox account was created successfully uh, which is this it ends with 382 and now go to your my apps and credentials so click on create app give a new test application now by default the new account is selected click on create app so uh, you'll have the sandbox account email id client id and as well as the secret now i'll show you how does this look like so if i hit sandbox.paypal.com close this tab and i would need the credentials to log in Uh, so this is the recent account that was created you'll have the system generated passwords you can change or uh, you can change the name anything that you want in the sandbox account so yeah I have logged in uh, this is how a business account UI would look like in PayPal uh, it will be present in the home would contain a lot of widgets and you can see the transactions and transfer from PayPal uh, so in my balance I have 5,000 rupees currently so let's get into the code aspects like how do I this is my e-commerce website and once user whoever logs into my website clicks on the checkout he should be presented with uh, PayPal buttons uh, for checking out so this is what I'll be building through the course so go to this do checkout document I'll copy these things. I'll go to my code, uh, which I've already built. I've been building in my previous videos as well. So go to index.html, add this script tag. I need not, I need not add the second part. So basically, I'll call this PayPal script. Uh, Calling it via URL always ensures that I'll have the recent version. I need not uh, worry about the security aspects because I'll have the recent uh, PayPal script. And in, in here, if you can see client ID is equal to uh, SP, but here I'll have to specify my client ID. So I'll go back to my account. Oh, sorry, I should have clicked my apps and credentials here.
this is the test application that I created uh, just now. I'll copy this and also one more uh, caveat here is since I'll accept currency in INR, I'll specify it as and currency is equal to INR. I when I integrated, uh, I have noticed this error and this is available in the developer community, PayPal community developer doc, but we should explicitly specify it in the script tag. Now in the home button, now let's go to our app. Uh, in the previous video, I created this on add method where it says what are the items that we have checked out that I add it in checkout list. Correct. So now user should be able to pay with PayPal. So uh, they should be presented with PayPal buttons once they click on the checkout thing. So just reorder my screens. Cool. And now let's say I'll define state is checkout. Uh, first it should be false. And then read the state. Remove the console log. We know it's working. If is checkout return, I'll create a component called pay with PayPal. For this, I'll pass the props as total values and items checkout list pay with PayPal and checkout is the component so pay with paper i'll just import it please no uh, i haven't built the component yet which i'll be building it will be in the components folder so let's create this component pay with paypal dot jsx I'll build this as a functional component. I'll use state, use ref, use effect from React. I'll import you components from React Strap. Function pay with PayPal. We accept the props. Cool. Uh, you have exported the component now, and let me read the props. I passed items and total, I believe. Yeah, items and total. This is my prop. Now, once I'll define few states like pay for oops, set pay for this will be false user hasn't paid yet in case of errors or just like in my previous video, how we built like error loading states. Uh, this is similar to with the Again, use state error will be null. I'll create a ref PayPal ref use ref. Now, okay, if paid for. So if the payment is successful, we'll just add this message, thanks for making the purchase. If error, error in processing payment, please try again. Now this is where the PayPal thing comes into picture. Now, once user sees this component, he should be presented with all the things uh, 
uh, all the items that he is making purchase for as a list so this will be list group item key is equal to index display item dot name item dot i i'll just concentrate on the rupees part for now so i'll hard code it instead of or taking that also as props so close this properly now i do i'll also show in the total amount And here is where my PayPal button will come. This will be a reference. And now comes the pitching. So once this component loads, I should present the user with the PayPal buttons. Now since I have uh, basically this will be called when items change. So window dot PayPal. So basically, since I have included my script here, uh, window object will contain PayPal once this downloads. So window dot PayPal. This contains a function called buttons. Inside buttons, you pass an object. Now, once this is successful, you render the component in the PayPal ref dot current. Now inside buttons, I need to have, I need to pass an object which will contain uh, three functions. One is create order, on approve, and on error. So create order. You can uh, refer the order API here. Uh, basically, we'll be calling the checkout order uh, things, and it will talk about the request body, what should contain, what are the required parameters. In this case, intent and purchase units are the required parameters. There are various pay, uh, concepts in PayPal like capturing payment, authorize, creating order. Uh, I would suggest you to go through this document to understand all these things. Uh, basically, you can create billing agreements and stuff like that. So, uh, for just the basic more creating a transaction, I'll use create order. This provides data actions this is a function return actions dot order dot create this is where you are basically purchase units this is an array description would be what do you call it? laptop store checkout and amount is the total amount currency code INR value would be the total but in this case uh, for example my laptops are exceeding the price of each laptop is more than 60,000 50,000 basically I have my only and I don't think the amount I need to do it for test purposes so I'll just put 10 for now uh, for this demo so that on approve this is an async thing because once you call create order it will take some time which is an uh, to create this order to capture the payment so I'll give an order actions dot order dot capture now once order is successful I'll give set fail as true I'll also print the order details now on error Oops, what is this? 
Select error. Console dot error. Cool. So I think I forgot one thing in order API. That is intent. Intent. I specify it as capture. Cool. All the states are defined. Now in app.jsx, this is done. Let's go back. I'll refresh. I'll show you the window dot data. You can see this version buttons and it also contains funding. So let's check this out. I add one item to the cart. Hmm. No, I think I forgot the main functionality. Cool. This dot. Basically, when I click on the checkout button, it should. If checkout list dot length, basically, if I have checked out anything, then it should present me with this view. This dot is checkout should be true. Now, once is is checkout is true, I'll be presented with this component pay with PayPal. So let me test add to cart. As you can see, uh, MacBook. I am checking out MacBook Air, and I am presented with this PayPal thing, PayPal buttons. And now, if I choose to click PayPal, I can even specify here the return URLs also. Like once I am successfully uh, I purchased my payment, what is the URL that? Uh, the PayPal should redirect the users to in my website uh, and on failure what links you can all uh, refer this in the document cool yes so I'll have to log in uh, using the personal account now let's go to my accounts list I log in using my personal account Now one thing uh, you should note here is in the personal account whatever the uh, credit card that you have in your personal account will not work in most cases. Uh, that's why uh, you will have to generate a new credit card using credit card generator and add it to your personal account. Uh, there is some limitation on using the existing uh, default credit card for making a purchase. So just uh, try to create a new credit card using the credit card generator add it into your accounts and in this time I'm making this I think you can enter any random CVV click on pay now so I'm making a purchase in John Doe's test store that is my application I'll be presented with this reading and It is processing the payment and the payment was successful and it says thanks for making the purchase we can handle it gracefully like we can be presented uh, basically I was presented with some other tab uh, we can all avoid this by specifying the redirect link and such you can refer the document yeah. and it says thanks for making the purchase now I think I should have I've already logged in using my personal account so if I just refresh so this is how a personal account would look like here you can see the recent payment that I have made for 10 
uh, June John Doe's I made a payment to this business account John Doe's test store I paid with this uh, it has to ship to this address this is the transaction ID now let's see the merchant account how this would look like in the merchant account you did not incognito tab go sandbox dot paypal dot com here i'll log in using my merchant account as you can see uh, 5000 was the balance but now i have got 9.6 additional rupees 0.4 has been deducted rupees so it says payment from ramesh rao in the summary i can click this and go to the transaction details so it uh, provides all the information uh, about this transaction payment status payment type was checkout shipping we should i ship this product to uh, whether it's eligible for seller protection purchase total and stuff like that uh, basically it gives you all the information and in the transaction view you will be presented with all the transactions you can search by all these parameters cool so this is how you integrate paypal into your checkout options uh, you should refer this document this is for just a demo purpose i created this there are various uh, products that paypal offers you can mass pay uh, you can do a mass payment you can uh, add a subscription agreement and a lot of things basically so your website now has a checkout option and as you can see uh, i have not like added all the things that i can do there are a lot more things that you can provide during uh, creation of this uh, capture thing basically all the items i can specify it here so that it can show up in my transaction description of all the items that i need to uh, ship everything uh, but i just included just the purchase uh, thing what is the amount and also i did not want to have to add the huge amount that's why i have specified as 10 here but it should be the total amount in your cart so just a uh, few things to note and thanks for watching this video uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section please do subscribe and provide any feedback that you have in the comment section thank you